Hey guys, it's Toasted Baby here with a quick little tutorial video of something that I made in my test world. This is a hopper item thingy based timer system. Basically the way that it works is it uses a comparator hooked up to hoppers like this and you can uh, change the amount of time that it works. This is the maximum, it's uh, 15 blocks and with a full hopper like this with the 16 stack items, uh, it's 28 seconds for this because each item to transfer from one hopper to another inventory takes 0.35 seconds. So you can d see how long the timer is by multiplying the amount of items that you have times 0.35. With a, uh, the items that stack to 64, such as uh, like uh, blocks of that, if you were to fill up the entire hopper, that would be 112 seconds, so almost two minutes for a full hopper. For items that stack just one, such as a uh, minecart or, so, or something like that, it's 1.75 seconds. But this is how, or the concept, how it works. You push this button to start it. As you can see, it's starting. It, the uh, lights are lighting up left to right. And then once it gets to the end, you know it's been 28 seconds. And the way that you stop it to see how long or like how many lights that it took, you push the right button. That turns off both the hoppers, and as you can see, this one took one, two, three, four, five, six, six lights, and so six, some, I don't know, it's a certain amount of time, I just go by the num number of lights. And then to reset the system, you just push the start button again, that turns it off, and then it just counts itself back down, going all the way down, there we go. So let's go ahead and head, uh, this is the finished product, so we're going to go ahead and head over to my finished product line and build it there so you can see how it works. All right, guys, the first thing that you're going to want to do is decide how long you want the timer to be. For this one, we're going to go with the maximum 15 block limit of redstone. So the way that we're going to do that is we just need to have that. Let's open up our inventory here. Oop. Let's get lamps. And you just have the lamp and then a comparator behind it. And then you need hopper. The hoppers are going to be feeding into each other. And then the way that we're going to control the hoppers is you put a block on top torch on one side and dust on the other just like that. We're going to do 15 of those so just go ahead and just build all those and then we can go ahead and start on the timing mechanism. Alright guys after you get the entire uh, counting system built you're going to want to fill each dispenser just one of them with one single single item of course we're going to be using the most ideal block in the game which is lime wool that's just so you can use it it's going to use it to go back and forth to uh, count how fa how far it goes down now we're going to work on the timing system first thing that you want to do is put a block here with a comparator going into it and then over here you're going to want to have a comparator going on the ground right there put a block next to it torch right up over next to that block on top of the torch and then a piece of redstone there uh, next to that redstone you're going to want to have a piston just like that and then underneath that piston you are going to want to put two hoppers feeding into each other just like that and then to fill the hoppers we are going to go with the where are they there it is the uh, Ender balls because 28 seconds is more than enough for our testing. We're just going to put them into right there. It doesn't matter which uh, which hopper you go into, and then just put a redstone block on top. That will freeze this hopper, so all items will feed into it, but they will not feed out. Next to that, we're going to work on the t uh, hopper dropper, which is the T flip flop that we use to control it. We're going to have a, hop a dropper right there. One going up, then one facing you, and then just put a a dropper on top. Just go ahead and put any one item you want into that dropper, and it will go ahead and do turn it off. Actually, turn it on. And then for the button system that we're going to use for it, we can go ahead and just use the lime wool. Oh, lime wool. Leading right there. And we're going to want to have some half slabs going around it so as not to interfere with these droppers. Have a repeater leading off of this one, leading around. You can go ahead and switch to lime wool here, and then it will come around here and feed into a repeater right there. For the uh, stop system to stop the timer, we're going to want to have a piece of redstone right here, a block right next to it, 
And then you're also going to want to have a block right here with a piece of redstone coming off of that as well. Underneath that block, you are going to want to have oops, a sticky piston. And then right in here, you want to put a torch in the ground and then a block on top. So that's how we're going to stop this hopper as well from feeding items out. That's to freeze both hoppers. Over here, you're going to want to have a regular piston, block in the ground like that, or torch in the ground like that, another block. You're going to have a block there, and then a piston here. This is where we're going to have the reset system, or the uh, stopper system. going to have a torch there, and then over here, we want to have another torch. That's going to feed down into redstone here. And you just want to cut off the redstone right there, and we're going to want to have it right here as well. Just like that. That's all you need to do for it. Then we just need to grab some buttons. Eh, where are they? There they are. And then you're going to want to put the two buttons right here. You don't need this block right here, so you can go ahead and break that. Last thing you're going to want to do is put a repeater go oh, right here going into this block so it gets to this redstone right here. Now let's go ahead and turn it on. It's counting up very slowly. Each light is going on progressively. Let's go ahead and freeze it as if someone had finished the finish line or completed a task. Freeze it. It works. So five blocks or five lights are on right there. And let's go ahead and just reset the system so it counts back down. There you go. That is a very simple, or simple for me, hopefully for most of you as well, uh, hopper timer system. You can go as have as many blocks as you want. And remember, uh, a full hopper of 16 stack items is 28 seconds. Full hopper of 64 stack items is 112 seconds. And you can go ahead and mix and match as well. Just remember that it will uh, count down slower once it gets to the stack of 64 items. So if we were to, say, replace that, it would count down quickly for these. And then it would be one-fourth the speed. So the lights would count or light up a little bit slower at that stack. Just remember that. But... That is going to do it for this tutorial. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, hope you learned a little bit something. And uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.